Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And this is called I Want My Aquarius Back. Cool for love. This is if you are still in love with an Aquarius who you recently split up with and you would like to get them back into your life. This is assuming that it was not an acrimonious split and that the split was not highly negatively charged and you are still um, not at the point of no return yet. You haven't reached that point yet. So you're still open to talk with each other because uh, everyone's ego is intact and nothing has been done that cannot be undone. We're going to look at how the Aquarius is feeling right now. We're also going to look at what they want right now. Finally, we will look at if they've been able to move on and what you can do to start to build that bridge back to the Aquarius. So right now, until the middle of April 2018, it seems to me that there is a lot of regret in terms of the ending of the relationship with you. The Aquarius is having regret about how things ended, especially if it ended uh, in a big argument or a big confrontation. They feel very sad about it, which is odd for the Aquarius, but they're really, they're really feeling this split. And they're sad about it, heartbroken. They're heartbroken about the breakup. Yeah, they're very heartbroken. They're probably also spending quite a bit of time, even more so uh, than normal for the Aquarius. They don't want to be around anyone. They don't want to talk to anyone. They're spending a lot of time alone. A lot of time alone. And if there was a big argument when you split, uh, they're, they're going over this argument over and over again. If there were harsh words said, said uh, especially on the part of you towards the Aquarius sun, moon, and rising, they're very hurt about these things that were said. Uh, for what they want, we have Major Arcana, the Fool, Major Arcana, the Hermit, and we have the Queen of Swords. So what they want right now, it seems, I'm getting they want to know if this was real. They want to know if your intentions were real. They want to know if, if you lied to them, if you were dishonest with them. It's like they want to validate what the relationship was for you. They want to know how serious you were about them um, backfinding. They also might be wondering if you've moved on, if, if you're available still, or if you have moved on to someone else, or if you're even thinking about them, if you want them back. They have not really been able to move on into another relationship. They're not at that point where they feel right, like right now they can move on. But this seems to, to be more because of their own private situation, especially around work. Like they don't have the time and they don't have the energy to move on right now, between now and the middle of April. Uh, 15, 2018, they're just not really ready for it. And I keep having, they're saddled, they're saddled with something, but it feels like it's work or other obligations. It doesn't feel like it has anything to do with uh, the former relationship that they had with you. And let's see what you can do if you would like to Try to uh, get your Aquarius back. It seems to me that if, if there was a big argument at the end of the relationship and things were said that were not meant, um, you can try to speak with them at least about this just to clarify that and say I was very angry. 
this is the little child running away from the mom after it broke his toys. I was very angry. I did not mean what I said. Um, yeah, it wasn't real what I said. What the things that I said about you uh, were not real. For those of you who want to try to reconcile with an Aquarius between now and the middle of April, it, it will be quite difficult right now because the words that you said or how things ended are sticking with them. It's not going away. And it, whatever it was, it was quite hurtful. They can't, uh, they can't let it go. Whatever was said was very real to them, even if the words were said in anger. And at the time, they may have also been very, very real for you. But in hindsight, you may think that what you said was a little bit over the top and probably not fair or warranted. It was said out of anger. They were words of anger, but they can't, they can't be erased. They cannot be forgotten by the Aquarius. They can't, they can't forget. It's like the words are being overplayed in their head, in their ears. But it could help if you try to tell them you're sorry and that you didn't mean it, but it will take really time for them to let it go. And I feel like it's, it's something that happened or that was said that they're not going to forget. It's pretty heavy for them. It's a pretty heavy, it's pretty heavy for them, whatever this was or whatever was said. So let's see finally if there's anything else. We have the hermit who came out again. So it's just reconfirmation that boy oh boy, it might be really, really difficult. Um, they're gonna keep going over this. And uh, they're not really going to let it go. So it seems to me if you about the most you can do right now to build a bridge back uh, and try to reopen the communication as best you can. I would try to excuse me for that. I would try to reach out and just say you're sorry and don't try to gloss it over. I mean, if you were angry when you said what you said, then just tell them when I said it, I meant it because I was mad. But in hindsight, you know, as I as I recap this and go over this, I know that the things that I said were a bit raw or rude or inaccurate or mean, but I said them in anger. And I apologize for this and I apologize for what I said to you or even did to you. You didn't have my back or you let me down. I'm hearing this too. Like they felt like uh, you didn't cover them or you weren't there for them when they needed you. When they called out for help, you weren't there and they can't let this go because now they feel like they can never believe in you or trust you. So it's about proving also to them that you are capable and that you are trustworthy and you will have their back. You can also tell them this, but show them decisively. Don't just say it. Also show them, show them that you mean it. Find a way to prove it to them and show them this. So that's what I have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want my Aquarius back. You guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. If you like the video. And I will see you back here next month. Bye-bye.